We're in a small town of quinoa producers in the high altiplano of Bolivia. Fairtrade USA decided that we needed to travel here because there's just a growing interest and a growing demand in the U.S. for Fairtrade certified quinoa. So we want to come understand how the product is grown, understand what it's like to be a quinoa farmer, so we can take that story back and tell it to consumers and help them understand why it's so important to buy Fairtrade certified quinoa. We certify, we make sure that the producers follow a set of standards around sustainability and safety. And then we make sure that farther down the supply chain, when it comes up to importer, to brand, and to retailer, that there's a special premium, a tip that's paid to the producers to recognize them for that extra hard work that they do to create this quality, sustainable product. Sí. Farmers work hard, especially the ones that we're seeing here in Bolivia, right? They're up at 4 a.m. and they're working till 7 p.m. every day. So we want to make sure that the price they're paid really reflects the amount of work that they put into it. When the farmers sell quinoa, they get paid this premium. That premium gets paid directly into the farmer cooperative. Apecuse just got certified with Fair Trade last year, and their first project was to invest in schools. So this year they bought backpacks with school equipment for the children so that they're ready to learn the moment they get to school and nothing's holding them back. <laughs> I would say that fair trade is very important in, in supporting producers and their ability to have food security. So what we've seen in quinoa, for example, is that producers who've been in fair trade for many, many years now have been able to diversify their diet. Anything that gives producers more power to make decisions, more bargaining power in their supply chains, and an amount of money that they can use to invest in projects that are important to them, is going to allow them to make the decisions and have the control over their own food security. And above all else, works to empower farmers and workers, help them fight poverty, and protect the environment. This has been one of the most amazing trips I've ever taken, and I think that it's a place where fair trade is already so rooted and so important. And so as we visit these producer organizations, to see their eagerness to participate in fair trade is humbling and awe-inspiring and gives me an inspiration to go back home and work harder 